She's sweat proof. She never really sweats, so she doesn't really move that much. I'm curious if she's a sweater. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Gaining Ground. Before I begin this video, just a reminder, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Uh, things are just crazy these days. I feel like we need an escape. I saw something on the social medias that mentioned going back and redecorating our homes for Christmas or other holidays in December just to kind of spruce up and cheer up the neighborhoods. Well, I'm lazy as hell. I don't have time for that. So I'm going to do you one better. Instead of putting up an overinflated eyesore on my front lawn, I'm going to go back to a F Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, mukbang from December. It's kind of the same thing, right? I don't know. So let's go back to the holiday season when things were semi-normal and see what Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, was up to. I'm sure it was telling pointless stories and eating food, but since I'm new to this, she might surprise me. She might have had a good day in December. I don't know. This video is called Chinese Food Mukbang. Not very descriptive. Not much involved. So it's probably just, a, like I said, a lot of chewing, slapping, uh, maybe a belch, maybe some flatulence. I don't know. I'm sure the cat's going to pop up. Maybe some holiday references. Who knows? Who cares? It's something to do, something to keep you busy. So come along with me. Let's go back in time and see what this woman was eating for the holidays. Let's go. Eden's greetings. Oh, she's so witty. I can't with her. She's so witty. Oh, boy. I swear this woman's in my head. I always pick the best videos. Nobody even told me to pick this video. I just grabbed it. I wanted something holiday related. Tell everyone you farted. And it smells. And I have to sit here beside you. Excuse me. Yes, I'm So is she pretending to be the cat's voice right now? Did she just like rip ass on the cat? Fart chaining you. It reeks. Pew. It's disgusting. Okay. I guess you take after me, don't you? Oh. Pretty girl. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. There's that damn bottle again. I just saw that bottle in a recent video and I was shocked at how big it is. I want one. It's kind of weird that I grabbed this video. Say, hey, hey, hey. Is that hey, a hey, sign hey. I should order one? How are you? How are you? I am good. I am good. Minus the whole the world is coming to an end part. But other than that, not too bad. Not too bad. Hey, I have for you. I saw her do a December mukbang, I thought. What was it? Wearing that same pink lady sweater that she ripped off the backs of three pink ladies. Look at Brenda the giraffe. She's so cute. A new addition to the family. I'll get to that. Damn cunning board. And I have Chinese food. Oh, <laughs> shocking. So let's get to. Let's get to. It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, look how greasy here. that bag is. Yum. What yum, is that? Yum, yum. Oh, okay. Look at this beautiful plate. No. We're going to remove this, though. So I don't like things in my way, okay? So as oh, you, can see, you mean like diet and exercise? I have a new sponsorship with the coldest water bottle. This woman's got a sponsorship. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, my God. Where are my sponsorships? Come on. And this is an amazing water bottle. I have been thinking of getting one for a while. I want and I one. I see that a lot of other mukbangers have them, like Steven Sushi, B Loves. Nick she gotta be like everybody else. Cotto, and I was like so thrilled when they approached me and were like, you know, um, would you like us to send you one? So I, I want like, yes. one. So I am part of the coldest member, uh, coldest team now. And they sent me this beautiful six. She really part of the coldest team, but they send her a new one just to put in her videos, hoping that people buy one like me. Four ounce, huge jug of water. And I, number one, love cold water. Um, maybe they saw how I prefer to drink boiling, scalding water. I don't know about you folks. I love cold water in my videos because you know me. The colder, the better. And this water bottle makes... Okay, yes, I agree with her there. Oh, I've got to give her a win for the cold water. I've said it before myself. Cold, ice cold. Use your water as cold as scientifically possible uh, for a water bottle to do that. It lasts up to 36 hours. It will keep your stuff cold. So, yes. And um, it is... But does it count the sodiums? Um, antibacterial and... Order proof and oh, see, we need one of those now. I bet they're all sold out. The antibacterialisms, sweat proof, and it's just it's insulated. Um, she's sweat proof, she never really sweats, so she doesn't really move that much. I'm curious if she's a sweater. I've had like cold water forever now, and I'm just oh, so those nails are tragic. Look at them, they're like so cut down to the bone. It is very big. I like big because this is like drink to it, even I have my holy whole water intake. Of How big is it? It's malt vinegar, homeless man big. Day. Actually, if you just had one, that would even be good. Um, so yeah, so 64 ounces of water is where it's at. Um, I drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water. A lot of you ask how I keep my skin clear. I actually think. Oh, do a lot of people really ask her that? I drink 98% water. Like I really do. So that's because she rubs Chinese food grease on her face. It helps open the pores. 
yes. So this will, is a new addition to our family. <laughs> huh? Move over, Harry Bush. <laughs> um, so the good news is, if um, you want to check out my description, uh, the links in my description below. Okay. Um, they do have all kinds of sizes and colors for the coldest water bottle. Um, and is this the Chantal line? A different size for every man. Want to um, be part of a giveaway? You can check the links down below. And if you want ten percent off your order, you can use my code Foodie. Oh, look! The, I think the baby draft's gonna jump. Below. So yes, actually, I'm really thirsty from just saying all that. So now oh. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip. I want one. I hate saying that, but I want one. Damn it! Oh, I'm so angry. Oh. Can we talk about duck sauce for a second? I love duck sauce. All right, let's get let's eat. My hair's in my face. Okay, I don't know what their deal is with these with these Chinese restaurants. It's like they're they're like they're so stingy with the soy sauce. How much do you need? Like no matter like, I remember going to a place. How much do you need? There's so much sodium on that plate right now that Amber Reed would collapse. She'd eat all her sodiums for the week. The mall, several places in the mall that have these Chinese restaurants, and no matter how much I ask for, like I'm just like I'll pay for extra soy sauce. Can I have more than two? They just always seem so reluctant, and they always forget. You to could buy a giant jug of it somewhere. I mean, just come on, Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, just get some at the store and get the lower sodium, please. It helps with the swelling. Me more than two, and it's like, what's the deal? You know, two more than two is probably good anyway, since it's high in sodium. Two plum sauce. So let's put Wait, the plum sauce. Plum in sauce. Place. I thought it's called duck sauce. Oh, is duck sauce and plum sauce the same thing? Is has my whole life been a lie? Free. You know, we call it duck sauce here in the United States of America. I've never heard of plum sauce. Beauty bite. Bobby bite. Actually, no. I'll give her that beauty bite. That does look good. I don't even know what it is. Look at her. Mm. Oh, her eyes just rolled behind the back of her head, like she just had a threesome with Zac Efron and George Clooney. <laughs> oh, look at that drip. So good. Oh, money shot. Mm -hmm. blah, blah. No napkins, I see. Mm -hmm. Watch out for that beautiful sweater. You're going to have sticky boobies. Mm. Gotta so adjust herself. This is chicken egg roll. Those egg rolls looked flat, didn't they? Honey something chicken. Did she just, did she just flatulize? I heard something. Oh, that's just chicken loaded with sugar. That's all it is. Fried chicken with sugar. The name of this place is Manchu Walk. It's like a mall. Oh, uh, too bad it's not called Manchu Run. Chinese food. This. Damn, I love Chinese food. Ugh. The sweet and sour pork. Wait, so she got like multiple meatsuses in one container? Mm hmm. Tiny, sweet. They must love when they see her number on caller ID. It comes up, they're like, they see Foodie Beauty on the little caller ID box, and they all run for that phone. Nice breading. Tender pork. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever had pork dots. No, a lie. I love boneless spare ribs, but that's different. Broccoli. Oh, that's good. Everyone knows what broccoli tastes like, right? She's eating her vegetables. <laughs> that's a good for her. Oh my god, it's like a never-ending uh, uh, a container of garbage. Is there anything else under there? I can't wait to see what comes up next. Is she gonna pull the delivery guy out? What else is under there? Ready? Lo mein. Lo mein. <clears throat> And under the low main, we have mm. Bob the delivery driver. Oh, ow, I just po I just you poked Bob's eyes out with my plastic fork. Okay. So no story. This is that. Mm -hmm. what, what was I expecting, right? I'm so stupid. So this is like breaded chicken and of course it is. fried. And then they put like a sweet sticky sauce on oh, it. Oh, shocking. That's so unheard of for Chinese food. Mm. In America, we just, everything is steamed. No sauce, no flavorings, no, no spices or nothing. It's just very healthy here. Very healthy. Yeah, look at those noodles. Yeah. I don't really have much to talk about today. Shocking. <laughs> and in other news. Ugh. She touched the egg roll with that left hand and she just rubbed it in her it. face. Um, didn't really have it in me to cook today. Uh huh. I mean, when do you ever have the need to cook? Never. Honestly. <laughs> oh, but you know what? Let's just be grateful she didn't make that bloody turd meatloaf. See other video. That vi that damn meatloaf meal that I'm pretty sure killed um, BB or is going to. Maybe tomorrow. Mm. Lies. I already, I already have a video I'm going to put out tomorrow. It's probably the meal she had an hour before this one. Oh, boy. Chantal. If you don't eat meat, they have... Tofu. It's like baked chicken. All set. No, thank you. No offense to the not meat eaters, but no, thank you. That broccoli looks too crunchy. I like my broccoli mushy. Is that broccoli raw? She's gonna break one of them foodie beauty teeth. It looks like they stir fry it with zucchini mushrooms. Oh, I wish she'd wipe the corner of her mouth. Please, please, please. Look good. No. 
How do you know it looks good? Unless you've seen it and had it. Come on, Chantal. Oh, I love that water bottle. Damn it. I love the color and everything. It's making me so angry. This thing is huge. <laughs> like, I don't have to fill it for, like, ever. You know? I love that. Or till tomorrow. <laughs> Eight cups of water a day. Get it, Chantal. <laughs> All right. I want one. I notice she keeps turning the name to the camera. She's very smart, this one. Another very egg roll? Uh, that's, really those good. egg rolls don't look right. They have like a really good spice in them. Uh, my egg rolls are, are circular. Overler? Over, you know what I mean? I don't know what it is. They're like little chubbies. That one's flat. It's weird. Okay. That one looks more like a crab rangoon. Ooh, I love crab rangoons. <sighs> Damn it. I'm not sure. Damn it, I love a crab rangoon. <laughs> And a steam dumpling. Oh! Oh, there she goes. Well, just like. How, how do you keep your hair look so looking so beautiful, Foodie Beauty? Well, I actually use uh, the grease from uh, the Chinese food place to give it a nice sheen. Putting a few waves in my hair today. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if you like it. I'll give her hair a win, though. I can't see the top of the forehead, which is fine with me because I'm over that widow's peak. But I do enjoy. She's got a little volume volume essence curling thing going on i enjoy that a little bit the sweater i've seen before we already said the nails are tragic the makeup's okay it's subtle it's not too much she didn't dunk her head into a toilet full of white powder again you all know how much that stresses me out it's very subtle the lips are kind of there but they're kind of like a jedi that a, a jedi who's passed on like obi's kind of there but he's not but even when he's not you know he's always with you it's like chantal's lips they're not there but i know they're with me somewhere uh oh. I have a delivery beer. Oh, oh. Sorry, that was Amazon. What, was it dessert? We come here like every day. <laughs> well, that was not Amazon. Stop. The Amazon courier company. <laughs> Stop. That was the next mukbang. It's a huge piece of chicken. What are you guys eating today? Just a live chat. You can't hear us. What I eat today? I got chicken breasts going. Yeah, because I'm a weight loss channel. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I technically am. Update coming soon. Oh, God. What is wrong with her? It's nasty. Another video where her ass has a better story than her mouth. Nasty. Ugh, I can smell it. Oh, God. Mm. How did she do that? That poor sweater probably melted off in the back. <laughs> she better check her underwears. She probably got a stain down there. Nasty. I feel like this video is going to be boring. <laughs> what else is new? That's it's like 99.9999999% of your videos. I could have that. Oh, those nails. Damn it, woman. I mean, this is old, but... I have mukbangers block. <laughs> I just don't even know what to talk you about. You always have block. You um, have you have human being block. You're just blocked all the time. You are a block. You're a blockage. You're a human blockage. You've got nothing to say ever. I wish you would do a weight loss journey, because then you could tell us about your weight loss and all the healthy food you ate, but God forbid you do that. Maybe stuff I'm watching right now. What are you watching? Westworld... What is hmm. it? Nothing. You can't even tell me what you're watching. Even to tell me what you actually do is a struggle for her. Isn't that sad? <clears throat> Not much, really. Honestly. What does she do all day? Um, been listening to audiobooks. Oh, okay. I'm listening to The Outsider by Stephen King. That's intellectual. Oh my gosh, she's got the noodle. Oh, I cannot. Really Thank God she found it. Mm. I want to read that book. I heard, I, love his books. I heard it's a show now. Oh, Chantal, where are we going with this? I don't even have anything new in the background to talk about. I've already, like, pretty much played out the damn giraffes, Brenda and her baby. Wrong, but... <sighs> one of my favorite books about him is The Stand. She loves talking about that book. I swear she's the one who brought us the darkness, the dark times that we're in now. I think I think Chantal did all this. She's responsible. I'm, get, I'm holding her responsible for this. It's a loss for Chantal. And I thought they were remaking that movie with um No, it's a TV show with Whoopi Goldberg. Say it. Matthew McConaughey is Randall Flagg. And Whoopi Goldberg. Don't eat your fingers, please, because that's just weird. I know he was in the Dark Tower. That was a horrible movie. I didn't like it. Yeah, I heard it was that's terrible. Oh my god, you're almost like telling us something. This is so exciting. Just just follow that feeling you have and keep going with it. Come on, Chantal, you can do it. Hmm. Nah, we lost her. So, if they did the stand, I hope they would do a good recreation, you know? Recreation? It's a TV show, Chantal. <clears throat> the whoopee's in it. 
Oh, she almost told us something. She almost did. She almost had a, like a coherent thought for more than 33 seconds. Oh. How exciting. It was like upcoming horror movies for the year. Uh huh. They're running out of ideas because they're, they did a remake of um. What? The Grudge. Yeah, I heard it was terrible. Can you tell us about that maybe? Oh no, it hadn't come out yet. This, but... It hadn't come out yet. Remember how I said that movie annoyed me because of the uh, yeah. noise the ghost did? Yeah, okay. Well, in the trailer for the new one, they do a soundtrack with bits of that noise. Oh no, that's so crazy that they remade a movie and they used elements of the original movie. That just doesn't even make any sense to me. Wow. And I'm just like, oh god. It's basically like a complete remake, even like to the point where... Who would she go to the movies with? The, the Uber driver? I mean, like, like the delivery guy? I don't want to... Who, she, who, where, where's Nini's or Nimi's? Where's Nififi? What's her name? Lily? Where is she? The honey lady. Or the syrup lady. They have scenes that are the same from the original one. That Like, not the original Japanese one, but... Uh-huh. It's probably why it's a remake. The Americanized one? I need water. She's, all this sodium is making me thirsty. With Sarah Michelle Geller. Oh boy, she got a lot of food left. Hopefully, not too much airtime. There's a new one coming up called Antlers. It's like a oh, that looks Guillermo del Toro movie. looks stupid with uh, Kerry Russell, Felicity. I don't know why I know that. I didn't even watch that Felicity. Cool. I know Kerry Russell from the Mickey Mouse Club and from Mission Impossible 3 for the two minutes she was in it. I don't really understand the concept. Or that or I already forget it. <laughs> it's about a woman who mukbangs in the woods and the kids who think she's a legend until they find her in real life one day and all hell breaks loose. Come to the Canadian woods. Antlers, a.k.a. Chantal, a.k.a. Foodie Beauty. Rated R. That looks good. One that looks really creepy. It's called Gretel and Hansel instead of Hansel and Gretel. That bombed. Oh. See what they did there? I love watching these old videos because I can tell her now it bombed. <laughs> like, all these movies you want to watch bombed. They all bombed. The title, so let's just reverse the original. I don't know. Bombed. <laughs> but the witch is creepy oh, in the trailer. The most exciting thing about this video was that damn water bottle. I want one. I think of all things, which is creeping me out probably the most. What? Things that don't creep me out are things like werewolves. This was such a simpler time, wasn't it? When the world wasn't like falling into uh, a, a, a black hole, an abyss. Oh, what I would love to just go back to this time, even if it does involve Chantal, aka Foodie Beauty, it's telling me pointless stories. I mean, she's telling us pointless stories anyway, but at least we were a lot less stressed then. I don't know. So, so, doesn't creep me out. so sad. <laughs> um. Simple times. Slasher fix don't really scare me. Yeah. Freddy Krueger does though. You, didn't you just didn't you just try to stab BB a couple of videos ago? At least it looked like she was going to. Freddy's creepy. Did I watch this already? It's because he can make himself into anything that you fear, you know? Was well, she repeating herself? Probably repeating herself. Who am I kidding? <clears throat> There's another one. It looks kind of weird. What is it? It's based on, like, the Jack in the Box. It's called Brenda the Giraffe. Imagine Brenda just came to life right now and pecked her head out. Oh, how fun would that be? <laughs> we just watch, we all watch Brenda walking toward her slowly, and nobody would want her on a live video. We would just be like, and then, reet, reet, reet. Be so cute. She could use that as her credits. Like the Jack in the Box. Brenda, Brenda the Giraffe pecking her head out. Like some monster. Oh, Jack in the Box. <laughs> I've never had a Jack in the Box. We don't have those here. I don't know why I'm That's talking weird. about it. Who cares? Are we done yet, Chantal? Mm-hmm. Oh, Chantal. All right. At least, well, she, at least she didn't eat the napkin. That's a win for Chantal. Forgot the kimchi. I have kimchi in the fridge. <laughs> so there. Oh, for the site for the digestives. Next, next video. The fermented digest. Next video in about five minutes. Mm. Boy, I learned nothing again. Mm. Well, I, I do want that damn water bottle. Mm. I'm going to have to Google it after this damn video. Oh, it makes me so angry. I don't want to spend money. I've spent so much money. I have trying to buy food that I need to survive because of everything. It's like I can't spend any more money, but damn it, I'm going to have that water bottle. Look at her. She's like stroking it. Oh, it turns me on. I think she's winding down, folks. <gasps> oh, so cold and refreshing. She had one of those threesome faces right, again. Guys. That concludes today's video. <laughs> um, Entertaining as always. Tomorrow's I am way more talkative, so 
Do you think she cuts her raw meats on that same board and then she eats her foods on? Who am I kidding? She doesn't cook. Oh, no, that's not true. She made that nasty meatloaf. I'll stop pre-recorded video tomorrow. And then um, hopefully on Monday, I will have something nice and uh, home cooked for you guys. She should. I don't know why Gas Sex doesn't sponsor her. I think that's a missed opportunity. I've been promising. So I want to try to alternate between like home cooked and... Taking... Gas Sex and Imodium AD. I feel like both should sponsor this woman. She really should email them. Um, do a clip like my greatest farts compilation oh they'd send her free samples in a minute they'd give her money put the logo up based on how i'm doing for my surgery it's not recommended that i try to do too much and you know doing things in the kitchen is just was this when she was toying around with weight loss surgery or was she talking about the hysterectomy comment down below requires more energy than i have right now so i uh just doing what i can <laughs> um so anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Okay, so a couple of wins here. The uh, water bottle. The fact that she adapts her intros and outros for the holiday seasons. I think those are two big wins. Uh, the lower part of her hair was a win. The upper part was probably still a widow's peak and a mess, but we'll give her the lower part. Her makeup was subtle enough for a win. We'll give her that. Uh, the Chinese food for me, hmm, I had given her a big loss, but she bored me so much I already forgot what the loss was. But whatever that loss was that I gave her in the video, I'm giving it to her again. Um, I think it was her nails. Was it her nails? I don't know. She had a big loss in the video. Her nails were definitely a loss, but I feel like there was another one. But this is what happens when she sends me to that black hole of insanity. I come out on the other end, and I'm like, did I just black out for 20 minutes? Did I just take 10 shots of whiskey? I don't even know where I am anymore. But hopefully this was a nice distraction for all of you. Gave you a little holiday feel. Made me feel good inside about my chicken breasts that are going out in the oven right now. So listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscribe button down below. Go ahead and click the bell next to it to be alerted every time I upload new content. Give this video a thumbs up. Giving this video a thumbs up means you like it when you like this video and others on my channel. It helps my channel grow. And feel free to share this video and others on social media. I also have all my social media links down below. Follow me on all those platforms. And as always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe out there, guys.